Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm talking about the Oscal Tiger 12 phone that I purchased about a week ago. And so the version that I bought was a 12 gigabyte version. They do have another variation. I do not remember what the other variation is. It's just for the RAM, not so much the storage. So or maybe it was with those storage. I believe you can get it with 126. Anyways, so uh, this is their website here. And this is what their features are. And I'm going to go through what I noticed versus what is listed on the website. If you guys are interested, the website, you could just easily search for OSCAL. And they, you could click on the Tiger 12. They also have a Tiger 10. And you can look at that and see if that's something that you're interested in. Or if you're just interested in knowing about this phone. Uh, so it's, I got this phone off of AliExpress. I paid $130.00. It's very cheap and it's not comparable to any kind of Samsung phone or any kind of Apple phone out there. It is a very, very, very basic budget phone. So, um, like I said, this is our website and I'm gonna go through the phone itself. So this is the phone here. Uh, this cover was provided with the company and behind it, cover here I got the Cloudway gray it's more like a blue to me it doesn't really look gray at all so this is what the phone looks like it's very simple you have two cameras on the back you have your flash you have your focus point there you have your speaker your USB-C your microphone and uh, the headphone jack so the speaker is a mono sound. It only comes out of this speaker. There's nothing at the top like how other phones have it. You have your front facing camera there. You have your volumes up and down and your fingerprint sensor. So the phone on the fingerprint sensor is very responsive. And as you can see here, I unlocked it right away just by pressing that. So the screen itself is also very responsive. It claims that it has 120 Hertz. And I believe that is probably accurate. So the phone, um, I haven't had any real issues using the phone. Um, the phone here, I when I purchased it, the thing that made me a bit concerned was that when I looked online, I didn't realize it when I purchased it. It claims that it operates off of bands 1, 3, 5, 7, some numbers, and some numbers. So what did that mean for me was that I use T-Mobile, well actually I use Mint Mobile, which is a branch of T-Mobile, which uses the bands of the ones that were missing when I purchased it. So the seller claims that this was a global phone and I wouldn't have any issues. And it turns out to be very true. So if you guys are looking at purchasing this, it will work. Um, one thing is the cell phone signal here in my home and in, in this location in general is pretty bad. Uh, typically, I was using, well, prior to this, I was using the iPhone um, that I had, and I was getting about one bar signal, and I'm getting two bars now, as you can see, and it, it is capable of still obtaining the 4G signal um, here, and that's actually pretty good because even my home internet, I'm using the old, uh, well, I shouldn't say old, but I'm still using that T-Mobile internet. I actually carried it over when I moved here. So the signal for the T-Mobile internet, it's very spotty and I haven't had any issues when I'm using the internet through the phone. So the phone is only capable of 4G. It's not capable even 4G LTE. So that's one thing to be aware of. So it is only 4G. The, I, the speeds though, it's decent. I, I mean, I haven't had any real issues. Um, I mean, when I'm at work, the thing is, the internet is not very good anyways because I'm living in a very, very remote area and the signal, it, it's it's better than when I had it with the iPhone with the same um, uh, SIM card in there. So the iPhone that I'm using is an older one too, so it is kind of sort of comparable in that sense. So the Wi-Fi that is connected with this phone, the Wi-Fi, it's not... Wi-Fi 6 and you can see that there is no 6 there because it doesn't even have Wi-Fi 6. The Wi-Fi that it's using is an old-fashioned Wi-Fi. I can't remember what is the exact model of the Wi-Fi that is provided in the phone, but it's not 
the Wi-Fi 6 and it's not even that second version that came in between the Wi-Fi 6 and the original. So it's using the original Wi-Fi. But even with this Wi-Fi, the high speed that I got through the home internet is 100 megabits per second down, which I was able to get that through this uh, signal. So, and that's pretty much the fastest I can get it at when uh, the time when I was showing it to you guys, when I lived in my old home, I was capable of getting like 500 megabits per second, which was pretty insane. And even there was a couple of times where I got 700 megabits per second with the T-Mobile internet. But here, 100, if I see 100, I'm super happy because um, that only happens really in the morning for me now. So uh, being with that, um, now because the internet is not good, this next complaint that I have with the phone is that when you're running your YouTube and it's capable of multitasking, I can't show you this because of copyright issues, but when the, I have the YouTube running and I try to browse through the internet, it tends to lag, almost becomes unresponsive. And I'm not sure if, if that's happening because uh, the phone is uh, lagging and unresponsive because of the internet, or if it's being unresponsive because there's overload on the, uh, the, the phone capabilities. So I'm not too sure about that. So this does claim that it has a Helio G, or sorry, yeah, Helio G99 processor um like i said i'm not really an expert in all that kind of stuff but that's what it uh states that it has so the operating system let me pull that information up it does have some kind of silly uh uh i guess software uh, i guess it's pronounced doc os 4.0 it's operating off of the um uh, what was that? The Android 13, I believe. So if that's another thing that you guys are interested in, you're capable of expanding it and see. So it's claiming that you can expand it for another 12 gigabytes. But this thing is claiming that it is only expandable for another 6 gigabytes. So who is right? Who is wrong? Um, so that's where some of the things, like I said, it's not lining up. The battery life, it claims it has 5,000 milliamp hours. I gotta say though, um, I only need to charge a phone once a day, but then pretty much every phone that I've had, when it's new, I only need to charge it once a day. So after about a uh, six months of usage, I'll be charging these phones uh, or even my old phone like two or three times a day. So I'm not too uh, like, I guess promising on the battery life pretty much every Android phone that I've owned I've burnt the batteries uh, the the last phone that I had the Poco phone I, I burnt it the Samsung phone I also um, I had a Note 7 which the screen was starting to kind of burn out I know you weren't supposed to have that phone but I had it for quite a while I had a Note 4 which also burnt and I had a Note 3 which also burnt so the usage that I use the phone is actually quite a bit. Um, and so that's why uh, we'll see how long this thing can last. But I do not intend to use this phone as a regular uh, daily uh, phone forever. So this is going to be uh, a phone that I will use until I can get my hands on a better phone. So being that this phone comes from China, it is capable of hooking up with Android Audio. Um, I'm using that Play AI box, um, so I don't actually plug it in directly into the car, but it is working through that Play AI box that I have on my car. I haven't had any issues when I connect, it connects right away, and so that there's no issues there. The Bluetooth also, I haven't had any real issues. It's not using the uh, newest Bluetooth either, I believe. I can't remember what number it's operating off of, but it's not using the Bluetooth. Let me just check if they have the features here. I don't think they tell you what the uh, features of the Bluetooth is. So anyways, um, it doesn't have the newest features. And like I said, you have to keep reminding yourself about the price that you paid um, through the uh, for the quality of what you're getting. So the camera here, the camera, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's the best camera, but it's clear enough 
Um, so it's capable of doing four times the zoom. And uh, I'm gonna kind of show you that. Oops, I believe it has to be in the picture. So it's capable of doing four times the zoom and then that's, that's pretty much it. So at four times, it's actually still okay. The picture quality doesn't really distort that bad. Um, and for the, uh, the, oh, sorry, the video quality, what you can do is you can do up to 2K, you have your full HD and your HD. So um, also the video quality is the same pretty much with the camera quality. The camera quality, what the issue is with the camera is that, so when you're in bright daylight or in the good lighting situation, the actual pictures come out very nice. Um, and kind of like what the website was saying, when they're showing off their photos, they're showing off their photos in the daylight. But when you have your photos under a low light or kind of dim light, picture quality comes out pretty darn bad. So the picture, when you take the photo through the dark um, and this issue is also with the front facing camera it doesn't matter um, what time of day it is it, you're going to have this issue and the issue is that uh, you have almost as though like there's a mat covering on the uh, the photo so the photo will come out as though there's kind of like a weird fuzzy looking cover to the image and so I would not recommend using this phone to take selfie videos and posting it online. It would look quite bad as well as taking night photos and using that as a night camera. It also will not look very good. But um, again, like I said, the price, you got to think about that. The price is fairly cheap. You're going to get a decent uh, picture quality in the daylight. So that's kind of the trade-off. The other problem is that there is no real camera stabilization. So when you're taking videos, you're going to see it shake even the slightest bit. So um, unless you got the steady palm or whatever it is to hold the camera very still, otherwise you can actually see the image vibrating. Even I'm holding it, at least in my mind, I'm holding it firm, but it's not. It's, it's still shaking. So that's another thing there. Um, another thing that is annoying me with the phone is that the phone, even the slightest bit of touch on the side like this with your thumb, it will activate either swiping it or uh, activating an app that's in the region. So that can get very annoying. It, it's very sensitive to the touch. Uh, and like I said, just a slight little touch. Uh, let's see if I can demonstrate it here. Slight little touch. And you see that it actually flicked the, the screen to pull up all the apps. So, um, and it, it didn't even seem like I pulled the, the screen up. So it operates kind of like the newer iPhones. It doesn't have a back button. Um, I believe you can change that in the settings though, but uh, I have it set this way. It scrolls left and right. Uh, if you want to go back, you just kind of swipe it left. If you want to go forward, you swipe it that way. So that's the way that works. Um, and I guess it's all right. That's not really an issue there. Um, and other than that, I didn't really have any issues. The calls are fine. Uh, it is capable of doing Wi-Fi calling if your company provides it. Uh, if you call through whatever person, you are capable of doing Wi-Fi calling with this. So that's a plus there. Um, and I haven't had any real issues with drop calls or miss incoming calls or anything like that. It works all fine. Bluetooth, like I said, works fine. Alarms work fine. Uh, Google Maps work fine. Everything everything has been working okay. Um, the only real issues, like I said, is multitasking. And um, there was one other issue that I did and that could have been something um that just spontaneously happened but when i had a poor internet connection um, i had to actually reboot the phone in order to get a better internet connection to come back but that was a one-time incident and that could have just been something that also is because of where i'm living right now so um other than that i haven't had any real problems everything's very smooth um, and i could recommend this phone for the price that you're paying um, you're not really going to get much much of a phone for a hundred dollars 
And this, like I said, is going to be a temporary phone. I am happy that everything works fine. Um, if you're kind of like me in my situation right now, uh, internet is not really the best. The camera, you hardly ever really use it. You play games. I've played a couple of games on here, like Streets of Rage. Uh, I can kind of demonstrate that. I don't know if it's going to give me into any kind of trouble, but uh, this is the Streets of Rage game here. I'm going to turn down the volume just in case. Uh, the vo volume quality is it's loud enough, actually. So, um, as you see here, you can just kind of play that there. And just play as whoever. And you won't really get any lag with the game itself. So, uh, let's see if I can get some gameplay going. And so, there you go. It is decent. Uh, but Streets of Rage, like I said, it's not a... A heavy uh, uh, load on the game. I haven't had any issues with overheating either. Uh, that well, but like I said, it's also new. So, but a lot of phones that I had uh, when I connected to the Bluetooth setting, the phone will tend to get hot in that uh, time. So, I haven't had any issues there, at least not as of yet. But it's also pretty cold in my area right now, so I can't really. Uh, say that that's the uh, uh, you know like the the end result it may actually heat up while it's uh, in the summer uh, maybe I can update you guys if you guys are interested you can just leave a comment uh, when the time comes around summer and I can tell you guys what the status is at that point but other than that everything else like you, you can actually see everything is pretty clear the, the the colors in the game are actually pretty good so there's if you're using it for some simple games I, w I would say that it, w it would probably work fine you probably won't get any real issues there uh anything else that i probably missed you can leave a comment i can just kind of fill you in there main thing is that the calling function works the basic functions for as a phone it works very well um if you're looking for something spectacular, this is not going to be it. Not at this price range. You're not going to get a miracle. But if you're looking for something that is uh, just to get you by, this may be a phone for you. Like I said, this is the Oscal Tiger 12. Um, and some of the specs are not uh, accurate. Like I said, the RAM is not accurate. The other thing, too, is that so if you're not using this charging brick that they provided you it claimed on the website that it this uh, phone can charge within one hour under high speed charging that's not true um, because if if it's not this particular brick it will not operate in that fashion even if you have a high speed charger so if you have a non high speed charger it'll take uh, hours for it to charge so be aware of that um, if you are one of those who carry the brick with you all the time, then you probably won't really have any issues. But that's the uh, specs on the the charging brick there, so you can see that. Um, other than that, there isn't really much else to say other than that the phone is decent, and for the price range, I would give this about a seven, maybe even an eight for. Uh, the price that I paid. You're not going to get much better. Um, you may get away with something like a Motorola phone um, if you're looking at the American market. Uh, other than that, I don't know too many phones that are just $130 whereby you can kind of get by with what they give you. But like I said, the only disadvantages is the internet speed. You're only getting 4G, uh, especially now everything's turning into 5G. Um, and like I said, again, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Um, I didn't do an N22 benchmark because to me that doesn't really hold any value. But if you guys want to know the score, I can easily download the app and then just post it in the description or something like that. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for viewing. I know it's been a long video and uh, hopefully you subscribe.